this is Jeremy Caulfield and in this video we are going to look at a few ways to add motion and 3D sound using WaveArt's Panorama as well as um, Native Instruments Kinetic Metal which is a contact library plugin. Um, it's a interesting sound design tool which already adds a little bit of motion to our sound before it's going to hit panorama so therefore um, we've already got something some capable overtones and effects and motions to grab I'm going to put this instant house plugin which is a great plugin by Alex Kidd to add a bit of percussive MIDI elements to the kinetic metal to break up the overall chord structure and uh, slide some of these sliders up. Click the FX button here. So again, we're giving it a lot of motion before we hit panorama. We're trying to move this around. But what panorama is going to do is give a form of 3D audio. Rather than just left and right, it'll be moving um, left and right as well as up and down. Uh, with an elevation, with an elevation control. Um, finally, um, we'll add a little bit of reverb to it to give it a sort of sp different spatial depth. Let's turn it on here. Take a bypass off. We've got it totally center right now. Now we're going to open it up a little bit. Let's get some gain on here so we can hear what we're doing. Increase our width. We're pan to one side, moving around. A 3D audio system has the ability to position sounds all around the listener, and uh, the sounds are actually created by the headphones, but the listener's perception is that the sounds come from arbitrary points in space. And the big change will happen when we hit this reverb button and enable it because now our sound space has a real depth to it. We're going to move it around. You're going to hear it move through the headphones now to the back, changing the elevation. This is similar to stereo panning in conventional stereo systems. Sounds can be panned to locations between the two loudspeakers. However, conventional stereo systems generally cannot position sounds to the side or rear of the listener nor above or below the listener. A 3D audio system attempts to do just that. These are some pretty extreme settings, but something that could also be applied to a sort of sound effect rather than just music. Now I'm just adding a little bit of a small drum beat up, cut up with a buffle shuffler in Ableton. And I'll show you uh, also how you can position and move these sort of beats around the space. So again, we're looking for things that sound good to move. Not everything sounds good moving around the space. This is a little bit chaotic right now, but I like the idea of getting metallic sounds bouncing around from arbitrary points in space. Alright, let's see where we're at here. Let's increase the width of our speaker set. 